Dysol is the world leader in the commercialization of a PV technology known as perovskite solar cells. Perovskite solar cells have a very broad range of applications from utility type applications through to building applied PV and ultimately our target is building integrated photovoltaics. Major area demonstration prototype is big news for Dysol because it's really part of our strategy to take this technology from the laboratory to fabrication or lab to fab as we like to say and it involves working with some of the world's leading companies, particularly VDL of the Netherlands, introducing its engineering expertise with our technology to develop this major area demonstration prototype. Dysol is not an engineering company. Dysol is more a technology enabler and a specialty chemicals company. So we need that engineering expertise to help de-risk this important commercialization step. Uh, the MAD project is in three phases. Uh, it's first feasibility and functional specification, which we're right in the middle of now. Then we move to engineering and design and ultimately uh, realisation. The whole three phases are intended to take somewhere between 12 and 18 months and will result in a number of major area demonstration prototypes being available for testing, accreditation, demonstration, and, show, and showcasing, that's a really important risk mitigation step for Dysol. Uh, MAD is a very important step prior to pilot line development. Pilot line development typically uh, precedes mass manufacture. Again, this is all part of our risk mitigation strategy because if we're going to enter a multi-billion dollar market, we need to make sure that we have really de-risked this technology, as you do with any new technology, to ensure that the steps that we take are very firm and solid steps and the money that follows to support the investment and generate new revenue is well invested. Well we had a cracking first half, uh, we made some serious uh, developments in terms of our milestones relating to technology development. Uh, most importantly uh, we reached our uh, thermal stability milestone which is 85 degrees C for our uh, demonstration or smaller panels. Um, uh, for a thousand hours and that's really an important step towards accreditation known as IEC 61646 and uh, we published that result and we were over the moon to, uh, to achieve that result because it's one of the unknowns when you start developing these PV technologies. We've already hit very uh, exciting efficiencies but to uh, de-risk the stability element was really uh, an important step for the company to make. The Dysol board does not have a, a policy in terms of making uh, revenue forecasts because at the moment we're a pre-revenue company but we have a very public uh, commercialization schedule and what I can tell you with a great deal of confidence we're aiming to have product in the market for glass-based panels by 2018 and with steel-based panels by 2019. This really opens an enormous number of markets and, and really brings us on as a credible competitor with the incumbent silicon technology. In terms of understanding uh, Dysol's press prospects over the next 12 months, I think the focus, having really achieved some important technical milestones recently, is going to be on commercialisation development. The whole world is waiting to hear what we're doing in Turkey. It's coming along very, very quietly, slowly, but inexorably. Uh, and in fact, as early as today, uh, I got an overnight uh, communication telling me that we'll be meeting in Turkey over the next few weeks to finalise some of the technical due diligence. So Turkey, Australia, Korea are all possibilities for significant commercialisation developments in the next 12 months. And there are also one or two others on the back burner. In fact, I got an inquiry last week from another European country wanting to explore possibilities for developing perovskite solar cells. This technology is definitely considered to be the most competitive and most likely to displace silicon uh, as a genuinely credible and commercially viable uh, renewable energy source.